Oh yeah! What's up everyone? Andy Kruger here. Today's video, I'm going to show you what I do with my Belgian Malinois when we're not training. Let's go. So it is very simple. I give my boy Freddy one of his favorite toys, ball on a string, and I let him run around the property. Now, I realize not everyone has access to such property, but when you own a shepherd, whether it's a German shepherd or a Belgian shepherd, giving them this free outside time is very important to the mind. So if you don't have access to something, you gotta figure out a way because it just helps balance out your, all your training and your lifestyle. Good boy. And this is what we do. I roam around, Freddy runs around with the ball in his mouth, he pees on everything that he can find, and we just have a nice relaxing time. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that our training regiment is legit. It's very strict, it's very technical. We have an entire program that we're striving towards, obedience, agility, and bite work, a lot of rules to follow. So to offset the intensity of that training and keep a balanced mind, this kind of stuff's really important. I mean, look at this goofball. Hi, bud. Yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a shepherd. Shepherds were originally designed to be farm dogs. They're meant just to be out in the field all day. Now times have changed and I know most shepherds don't live like that, but we have to find some kind of way to satisfy that part of them. Let's hit the pot. Now I know when a lot of people get shepherds, they go, oh, high energy high drive, I'm gonna exercise the dog a lot, I'm gonna take the dog on hikes, I'm gonna walk it every day, I'm gonna take it to dog daycare, I'm gonna take it to the dog park, I'm gonna get a lot of exercise, a lot of exercise. It's not all about the exercise, it's the type of exercise. I like this exercise for him because he's just totally free. He can run, he can jog, he can lay down, he can have the ball. It's just his decision. There's no other dogs to contend with, playing with other dogs, going for a walk, looking around. This is him like totally at peace. If he was just playing with another dog instead, of course, I'm sure he'd get some exercise, but it's not very tranquil. It's not He's one with the environment. You know, he's kind of like, oh, oh, the whole time. You need me to do that one more time? Oh, oh, the whole time. I, that's not what I want. I want him nice 
and calm, one with nature. Going for a walk, of course, it's better than not, but still, you're walking the dog. Oh, what's that on the ground? Oh, look, another dog there. Oh, I'm on leash, I can't go that way. There's a lot going on. This is letting the shepherd be the shepherd. Fred boy, get out that shade. Not a bad life. My job as a handler right now is really easy, so I like that. The balance of owning a dog. No one advocates for training, 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 training more than I do, trust me. But if you're actually meeting your training criteria to my standards, it's beneficial for the dog to have time to just be a dog, goof off, do whatever he wants, because when he comes back to training, he's gonna be refreshed. He's gonna be ready to work. It's like taking a little vacation. You recharge, you get away from work, you come back fresh, and you're ready to go. So giving the dog breaks should actually make your training stronger. Now everyone, don't be like, well, Andy said don't do any training, let's just leave them to balance. Your training better be good though. best swimmer. And then look at the result. The result is you get a pure genius like Freddy. Look at him. It's like his, his head is just exploding with knowledge. Do you need a shepherd? Do you need it in the apartment? Well, I want it. Well, I want a Ferrari. Doesn't mean I'm gonna go out and buy one. Does your environment suit your dog? You gotta think that. You can't go, well, no, it's small and cramped with no yard, but we're gonna go for a lot of walks. I'm gonna hike with him all the time. I really wanna think about agility, maybe dock diving. Um, I could always go to daycare, if, you know, get some energy out. Environment is everything. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this little video, a day in the life of Mr. Freddy when he's not training. Let me know in the comments. Tell me how you spend the off time with your dog. Hit my Patreon, patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. There's actual training on there. Actual training on there. Check it out. We'll see you guys on the next video. Did you like that session, Freddy? Did you like it? Did you feel one with nature? One with the environment? Freddy, answer me!